Within the past couple weeks, I was given four MFKs. We've got Baccarat Rouge 540. This was sent by a follower, Grand Soir, and this was sent by Twisted Lily. And they're pretty much an online fragrance store that has a bunch of niche fragrances. So they hooked it up with this one. And on my right hand, we've got Omris Femme and Gentle Fluidity Silver. And these two are actually sent from the brand MFK themselves. I was I was messaging them and we we're going back and forth and they're like, yeah, we want to send you a couple. So it was really sweet that they gave me these two. And if I had to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite, my least would be Omris Femme. And it's not that the fragrance is bad because it's nice, like it's decent, but to me, it smells like springtime in a park and flower market, a little bit of a fusion, more springtime in a park by Replica or by Maison Margiela. And I do enjoy those scents on women. Like I like it, but because my DMs were filled with people telling me that apparently this was a fragrance that commanded the room. It was very unique. It was like the epitome of femininity. I was like, damn, this thing must like easily be better than Delina or Mon Girl on EDP. And when I tried it, I was like, it's not. It smelled like a middle-aged woman at a garden party. You know, I wasn't getting like bad bitch vibes at all. More Karen than bad bitch. But you know what? Like if you wear this, I'm not trying to hate on you. I'm not trying to say that. But I think that if I smelt this before or... If I smelt this and my DMs weren't filled with people saying that this thing was glorious, I might have a better appreciation for it. So this is in last place. And I wish I could have tried even Omris Femme or Omris Om or even Oud Satin Mood. I've heard so many things about that one. So I mean, MFK, if you're watching this, I have an idea on the next one I want to try. Okay, and then I'm actually going to go with Baccarat Rouge 540 in my third place, at least on myself. I think this would smell amazing on other girls. Um, very unisex fragrance. It does, more women seem to use it because of the very cotton candy-ish sweet vibe it has. But I think that this is the OG, but I've smelled so many dupes of it already that it's just kind of desensitized my nose to the amazing smell that this is because this has a great scent trail. It has great projection. And it really is a very nice scent. Oh, gosh. I do like this. For myself, not so much. On other girls, if I smelt them passing by, I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that Baccarat DNA. But yeah, this is, it's groundbreaking. I mean, it's, it's it court in niche fragrances. With niche fragrances, this thing is probably one of the most popular ones. Or the most popular besides, like, Creed Aventus or something like that. Man, if I had to pick between these two. Okay, you know what? Second place, I'm going Gentle Fluidity Silver, and it's only because the fall is coming up, okay? So this fragrance, I feel, is more versatile, and I love it because I can probably use it year-round. And I live in Southern California, so it's hot all the time, and this thing works. This thing really does work. It's a very kind of crisp, fresh fragrance, if that makes sense. It's very piercing. I haven't even looked up the notes, to be honest on this fragrance, but it has a sort of scent to it that pushes through, it kind of like cuts through actually. It doesn't like envelop you, but it just like cuts through all the other scents and it's just sharp. This is very business-esque to me. I think that if I was in like a business suit, if I had a meeting, then this is something that I would rock definitely, definitely. Gosh, I love this. I love this. And you know what? This one got me a lot of compliments too. So it's hard picking between this two. I think it's just because if it was summertime, this would be my number one right now. But because of the change of weather, my number one is going to be Grand Soir. And I'm a sucker for amber fragrances. If you follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, you know that like Ombre Nui was my signature scent. Even though that's, Ombre Nui isn't, I don't find it to be very heavy amber. I find it to be a very versatile fragrance. Um, but this one... This is a heavy hitter amber vanilla fragrance and I love it so much. And you know what? What I like about this is even if you're wearing it, I, I think I had about five sprays on. It wasn't irritating me and it's a strong fragrance. I think that it pushes off your skin or your clothes really, really nicely when you enter the room, heads turn, because it just has that very like, it's a very inviting scent that draws people's noses towards it, if that makes any sort of sense. So I love this as my number one 
and I got, I did get, yeah, I've gotten compliments on this already. And this is, this has only been with me for about a couple weeks, but I wore it a couple times already at nighttime only because it's, it's been too hot to use it in the daytime. But when I did use it and I had like a sweater on, people were like, oh my God, you smell so good. That's so nice. So and the way this dries down too is really intoxicating. All of these are very unisex. I mean, Amris Femme pretty much states that it's a more feminine fragrance, which I get if a guy wore it. I mean, it would probably still smell amazing. So there, so there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. My four fragrances from MFK. I would love to try Oud Satin Mood. If you've tried any of the other ones and have recommendations, let me know in the comment section. And also, if you follow me on TikTok and not on Instagram, hit me up on Instagram instead because TikTok has literally been banning me for no reason. And they'll restore my videos, but they're like, if you get banned one more time, your whole account is gonna be like permanently deleted. And I'm like, but it's not even my fault. So hit me up on Instagram. I kind of like it a bit more now. And, um, my sister always says that I have to say subscribe to this channel, but it feels weird saying that. Like, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I mean, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. All right, cool. Thank you.